We're out here today on public land um, here in Texas and we were here earlier this year, uh, I think it was right after the season, we hung a camera, uh, probably we, we did a lot of looking around two, two and a half miles back. We actually hung a camera about a mile and a half back and got several good pictures of some bucks. And so uh, KC came out here, pulled it and moved it uh, to a buck bed that he feels like uh, is an actual in use buck bed, as good as any we've seen out here. So uh, what we're gonna go do is check this camera on this buck bed. If the bed's still there, we'll give you a little video and show you that here in a second. And um, we're gonna see what's on this camera. We're gonna, we got plenty of uh, rounds to make today, so let's go. All right, so we just got back here to the buck bed that I found about a month ago. Uh, it's out on this peninsula here that jets out into this swamp. There's water on this side and on this side with a big thicket here directly in front of me behind y'all. So on a really cold winter day, a buck could sit here, sun himself in the southerly sun, and still feel like he's very well protected from anything, you know, on the water side, and he can bail back off into that thicket at any point in time he wants to, or if he gets spooked or bumped or whatever. So pretty neat spot. We got a camera hanging on a tree right there that should have probably taken any pictures of anything that would have came through and tried to use this bed. I did kind of get intrusive on it whenever I came in and found it, but kind of stumbled upon it like I was right here before I saw it was there so who knows I might have killed it but it's something good to at least note for for next fall so we're gonna check the camera and see what we got hopefully something cool all right so we got that card pull done uh, a little underwhelming we did get some doe pictures on there which is pretty cool because they pretty much had to be wanting to be on that peninsula to get a picture so Nothing of that bed actually getting used. So I don't know if I ruined the bed by being there or if it just kind of transitioned out of the time of year when they're gonna use that bed. But now we're gonna go check and pick up one of our last cameras that we have out on public. All right, so we got 64 videos on this guy, which sounds like a lot to me. I know that at least one or two of them is gonna be us, but uh, hopefully there's uh, a few on there that are gonna be quality deer videos and we'll get to see kind of how they're using this area and moving through so we're gonna head back to the truck check them on the computer and let you know what we find checking uh checking this card it's got uh videos on it i'm not sure what's happening there it looks like a ghost um, this is all videos and we are trying to see i know i saw one pick uh one thumbnail that had a deer on it so I'm not sure exactly how many we're gonna have but we're gonna give it a look. Uh, I see a deer already. What? So this week we're releasing a really cool fly fishing film called Black and White. KC and I went to Arizona last summer in pursuit of the Apache trout there that are wild and native to the area so uh, make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel and that you like us on Facebook that way you can see the video as soon as it's released. In conclusion to this video however you can tell that we're pulling most of our trail cameras right now actually all of them because on public land in Texas this time of year, the risk highly outweighs the reward. But before we leave, I wanna show you one really cool clip that we got off of one of our trail cameras in late February of some bucks sparring. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> 